really is an interesting topic of study and certainly an interesting area for filmmaking today and also into the future. 3D for me um, impressed me by its way that it took people into onto the stage with the actors and put them one step closer. You're, you do get more involved with the characters because you can physically see you know the depth and character and wrinkles and yeah. emotions in their face. You f believe the characters more than if you're just seeing a 2D image. You know, you can see their face in, in relief, you can see their muscles move on their face, and I think you emote greater when it works properly. There's a number of thoughts, ideas about how, shoot, how to shoot 3D. Some people come from the idea that you shoot 3D to mimic the human vision, and you sort of maintain that. Other people say that you shoot 3D to mimic the real world. I'm kind of in the, the idea of the latter. Do you want the 3D to mimic a depth without becoming uh, intrusive to what, what you're effectively watching. One of the things I think, you know, I like I mean, in, the, in the whole 3D thing is, is, is the way that um, the 3D allows you to focus on the characters. So, mm. you, so you're in a space, so, so you have a, instead of having a, that, that flat plane, which is that flat graphic thing, what you, what you have is you have the characters in the space. And so I, I actually feel that what I watch is the characters more than, more than the image. We sort of began an early testing stage to see whether it was going to be possible, technically possible. Initially Dave and I were sort of getting little cameras and strapping them together and sort of just shooting some stuff around the, the studio against green screens. Stuff that, you know, is, produces probably the worst 3D results you could possibly imagine. But we could test drive essentially how we were going to do it and, and try to figure out how we would shoot what was in the script. So this early point was sort of, you know, playing with the cameras, finding sort of near and far distances, putting it, you know, copying them and cutting them out and putting them into new environments and seeing if that all worked, and it did. Basically, through a number of tests, whittled down the, the procedure to something that was very, 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 very simple that could be achieved. Dave and I visited Lemac and we had a look at the rig which Leonard Costa had developed along with the silicon imaging 2K cameras and it was a fabulous system, it really was. Everything which has been a problem with 3D was somewhat solved within this, this, this little package. I think only because Rob and I were so planned in, in going to the shoot we actually got everything. I think we minimised most of the mistakes. You know, I think the biggest mistake we made was Probably shooting 3D to start with. <laughs>